Just got out of the hot tub. It was nice. Love. I just need to pull her in far enough to uh, I just need to pull her in far enough to have the hood underneath the garage because it's starting to rain out and I gotta deal with some electrical stuff. What's interesting is there's no hood release inside Jesse to pop the hood open. You gotta just like <laughs> finger around in there. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> there you are. Oh! Yeah. There we go. Get some light in this god dang garage. Happy freaking Monday, everybody. Now, before I hit the road with Jessie, there's a few things left to do. Now, she is going to be more of a fair weather type of RV home, but I still need to have the bare essentials, the bare minimums to make it work. What are you doing? First off, first off being getting a registration up to date. That expired June 9th. And these are even more expired. These are actually Washington collector plates. And I'm just gonna keep them on Jesse until I get her registered in Wisconsin. I got full coverage on her too, insurance wise. That's good. <laughs> wow. See foam in a funnel. That'd be a heck of a shot. Now second off today, this is, uh, this is a more important issue. I gotta get that power inverter working. Power inverter, the power burger. <laughs> the PI is gonna provide all the power I'm gonna need for my drone, my laptop, cell phone. I thought I got it working. Right here. Everything we're gonna need to fix the electrical issue. Well, I did get it working, but it was only working for like a day, then it stopped working. Besides that, third off today, technical issues with my camera setup. My tripod thing, I didn't have one. I was using a towel. I've been using a towel as my tripod for the last three days. I need to go get a new tripod. A 20 amp and a 25 amp. Blew both those suckers after I installed that power inverter through that random hot wire. After I installed that new cigarette lighter the other day, all my gauges stopped working. I got those suckers reconnected. Now I'm just gonna throw in new fuses and hopefully the gauges work again. Oh nice, the light just went on over there. All right, let's see. What the hell? This ain't good. All right, so I went and got one of those loop circuit signal completers. They show you if there's power. I just wired this up. This was actually what was connected to the, that was actually what was connected to the back of the cigarette lighter initially, but I didn't have this little device, so I didn't know that there's any power going there. Wow. <laughs> oh God, that's live. That's hot. Yep, that's definitely got power going to it. <laughs> Woo, gotta turn the power off. I think I got it, guys. Oh, I think I got it. Oh, I think I got it. Oh, I think I got it. <laughs> I think I got it. Let's see if I got it. We're gonna plug this into the cigarette lighter. All right, and we're gonna turn it on. 
We got power! Oh my gosh, wow. This whole time, the original wire that was running to the back of the cigarette lighter, the one that was previously there, had power going to it. The cigarette lighter itself, though, was not working. So it was just, probably just, I don't know, it probably was just rusty. Probably had rust on the surface area, and it needed it scraped off, it probably would have worked just fine. Only other wires that I messed with were right here and right here, and they both, got power going to them and they're both connected so there shouldn't be any reason those would have done anything and then the fuses that I blew I replaced those as well and the gauges still don't work maybe I'll try starting her none of the gauges are working and I don't know what the heck I did I don't know beats me whatever <laughs> let's go Let's get going, I don't want to wait. How was your trip, girls? Oh my gosh. Annie saw baby deers. Annie saw baby deer? Yeah. There was a, a, a female deer and two babies. Oh wow. Yeah, Annie loved them. Annie loved the deer? You love the deer, Anders, huh? Why'd you got that corn cob, Anders? Why'd you got that corn? That's where she's getting all that corn from. Yeah, just old cobs. Old cobs. If oh, there did. you guys are. Holy cow, I thought you were inside that little house. No, if she accidentally hurt him, if she'd feel bad, I'd feel bad. Yeah, Annie definitely wants to hurt him, too. She just wants to play with him. Yeah, play with their necks in her mouth. Let's leave them alone. Wow. Yeah, they are. These chickens are wild, Anners. I don't know if you could take them. They're about your size. Yeah, they go. It's all Think nice. Annie could get them? Yes. I think Remember she Remember the day we chased her around? <laughs> All right, I gotta leave the chickens alone. I'm getting distracted again. Okay. All right, so there's a few things we gotta do before we can get on the road. And if we wanna get on the road, we gotta do them things. And we wanna get on the road. Load up, Annie. Good girl. Some Walmart brand flexible tripod. Probably not gonna last, but it may last. It may not last that long, but it may long last. It may not last that long, but it may last long enough till we get the new tripod. You know what I'm saying. By sheer coincidence. Well, that thing was absolutely terrible. Couldn't even support the weight at all, just crumbled. Back to just a plain old, old school tripod. There's metal on here, I think it's stronger. But then since I was in there, they got me, they made me buy more stuff. First aid kit, actually, not a bad buy. Gonna probably want that, you never know what could happen. But, way more importantly, I also got salami and pickles. So Jade, as you know, she gets a 45, 1911. Well, Jesse, she gets a 12 gauge shotgun. My old Benelli Supernova Tactical got for my 18th birthday. The shells, the shells are all rusty and corroded. That's like a crazy buckshot load. Dang! Yeah, she's been in storage for a while. 
Barrel's all rusty, I'm gonna have to clean her up good. But this is what I'll always keep in Jesse. Jesse has a shotgun. Jesse has a shotgun. Last thing I gotta check is the transfer case. We noticed it had a slight leak when we got it. Jade knows what happens when you don't have enough fluid in your transfer case. Yep, all right, so uh, on the back of this MP2 weight transfer case, there's a drain plug and there's a fill plug. Just gotta pop the fill plug off and you should be able to stick your little finger in there and touch the fluid. These are my new tools that I'm keeping in Jesse. I wanted something compact, but that could fit a lot of stuff. Crescent is what I went with. I'm just trying it out, and if they suck, I'll let you know. If they're good, I'll let you know too. Now, I don't think I actually have a big enough size to fit over that fill plug. I'm left with no choice. The biggest one that we had here was like one and one sixteenth. I'm pretty sure this sucker's at least like one and one eighth. Hopefully I can do it. Right here, this is the fill plug. Just had a cracker loose. Now, we stick our finger in there. Yep, sure enough, it's low. I don't got any fresh fluid on my finger. You definitely don't want to be driving a vehicle across the country with no fluid in the transfer case. Well, she ended up being about two quarts low. I will be keeping extra ATF in the cab with me and checking on that periodically throughout the trip. I think this right here is a must for pretty much every vehicle on the road. What's in the box? Instead of investing in jumper cables, invest in something way, way better than jumper cables. I just chose Beat It because amperage versus price wise versus review wise, all that, 50 bucks. No, it's, they dropped it, 45 bucks. 45 bucks, this is it. Portable jump starter, soft jump starter. Yellow and black because she's eventually gonna be yellow. You can jump yourself, I believe, like 10, 15 times with just one full charge. Dead batteries, not a big deal anymore. That's what it comes down to. Then if you kill your battery, it's like, you don't even need a dual battery to jump yourself. You just got this right here. This is very important when you're doing this kind of stuff by yourself. Car batteries, man. Car batteries. It's the same evening, and it is thank you time. As you can see, we yet again have a dash full of thank yous. First up, uh, uh, Ben and Lay Staffy. You can't see her, but Anners is like right uh, there. She is. There's Anners. She's just hanging out right there. She's just hanging out. She's always hanging out. Belinda Camp, Jeff Chamberlain, Skylar Martini, Steve Norvell, Devin Comer, oh Patty Cost 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 Patty Coskin, Jonathan Sullivan, Taylor Hayden, Dakota Beavers, Dakota Beavers, Dakota Beavers. All those people uh all you guys thank you all you guys. All you guys are new Patreon pledges and all you guys a part of the family now. You guys are part of my family. <laughs> family, wrong time. All those names I just read out loud, those are some wonderful people. They're new Patreon pledges. They're helping us keep this journey alive. However reckless and dangerous that journey may be. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. The next people's names, these are all like... I don't know, these people decided to give me a gift card. They email delivered me a gift card. How cool is that? So, these next people are awesome too! <laughs> Tony Catalano. Tony. T 
Tony Catalano. Tony Catalano gave me a Petco gift card. And he loves it, I love it too. Ron Griffin. Ron Griffin gave me a Whole Foods gift card. What? That is awesome. Thanks, Ron. Stacy Holland. What did Stacy? Stacy Holland also gave me a Whole Foods gift card. Thank you so much, Stacy. Christian Orlando. Whole Foods gift card as well. Looks like I'm gonna be making a Whole Foods run soon. And Joey Calabro. An Amazon gift card. Also very awesome. Thank you, Joey. Thank you, everybody. You guys are wonderful. You're fantastic. Really appreciate it. You guys are really cool. You guys just made my day. Ah, uh, look at that. You got some legs on you, girl. She's like a little skunk. If you mixed a skunk and a fox together, that'd be Annie. She's got the color of a skunk but she's got the body of a fox. You're supposed to open it in the middle. <laughs> I just ripped it right apart. Wow, what an idiot.